Revelation chapter 13. Verse 16 in the reads, And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-R-A-K in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K or the name of the B-E-A-S-T or the number of his name. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear now. One thing you got to do, look, look, Greek. <laughs> Look it up in the Greek. Look, look, the phone chimed in. Look it up in the Greek. Look, we're just going to click on it right quick. I'm just going to click on it. We're going to read the scripture again. Revelation 13, 16. Just to give you some understanding. Because you got a whole lot of deceivers out there. And the scripture say, mark them, which call division, right? They're not teaching the truth. They're telling you, is, is this, then the third, when they know it ain't that. You see? So now that M-A-R-K is an embargo. It's sleeping with a white woman. Look, look, it's it's the it's the mark of Cain now. Are, are you serious? It's, it's John 3 16 and all that madness marked them which cause division, right? Let's read this again. Revelation 13, 16. He calls up all. Who's the he? The elites, man. You see? And all meaning all the people on the face of the earth, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Yeah, all all that's that's that really don't need no breaking down. You're rich, you're poor, you're free, you're locked up to receive a M-A-R-K, a karagma in their right hand or in their forehead. Now, let's go look up these words right quick. Let's look up that M-A-R-K and see what, it, see what it means in the Greek. It's, it's this simple, Israel. It's this simple. Look, look. We'll go right here. Click on here. In the Greek, G-5481. Karagma. You see? This is the M-A-R-K, you know what I'm saying, that you're going to have to have in order to buy or sell, right? You see? And they're going to make it mandatory. Let's get this little karagma, a stamp, an imprinted mark. You see? Then let you know right there, it's not an embargo. It's not sleeping with a white woman. It's not John 3.16. You see? It's an imprinted mark, cutting in the flesh, right? You see? A little a thing carved, sculptured. Graving work meaning look look we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the um the root word it's it's very simple the Lord made it very simple right Karax Karax right it says um a pale or stake well a pale and a stake you use it to what to go into the ground to mark a territory right same thing with this M A R K right same thing man the, the Lord made it so easy man this thing is so easy. Once again, Revelation 13, 16. But but the deceive and the deceiver are his. 2 Corinthians um, 2 and 11. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Let's get it again. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R-K, a karagma, in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell. So, so if you don't know John 3, 16, you're not going to be able to buy and sell, right? If you haven't slept with a white woman, you ain't going to be able to buy and sell. See, see how stupid that sound? You see? See, see, how, see how stupid that sound? Because that's what these guys are pushing. This is madness that these false leaders are pushing, man. And, and tomorrow, it's going to be something else. Then the next day after that, it's going to be something else. Then the next day after that, it's going to be it's June and all this other nonsense, right? The scripture says, Woe unto them that are given unto change. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. One, one week is this, then the next week is that, then the next month is this, then a month after that, two, three months after that is that. Come on, man. You're not going to be able to buy or sell without the karagma, the M A R K. You see? To the beast, man. And we're not ignorant of that. Matter of fact, let's get another scripture. Let's just get another scripture. The Lord said, Mark, you saw how plain that was? You saw how plain that was? That was plain, man. Let's get Romans right quick. The Lord said, Mark them, man. Those that's causing division, 
Just breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Mark them, man. Let's get this, though. Romans chapter 16. And this is just some quick, a quick little break, lunch break. Romans chapter 16, verse 17. Now I beseech you. I, look, look, the word beseech means to beg. Now I beg you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Look, look, look. It's, it's the word M-A-R-K again, right? Let's see what this one say. That's why you got to look up the meaning of the words, man. You see? It's different meanings of the words, man. So let's get it here. It says mark them, right? Let's go, let's go to that. Let's see what that, let's see what that means. You see, look, look, same thing. Look, 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 different mark. Different M-A-R-K. Look, scopeo. Scopeo, right? To look at, observe. You see, to mark, to fix one's eyes upon. You see? Pre to look, to take heed to thyself. Pretty much call them out. Lord said the, 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 sh the false shepherds that are set up to um, mislead the people, mark them, call them out, scope them, right? Take an aim at, you see? Take heed, consider, you see? Look, 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 mark them. And, and look, 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 and you can keep, you can go on and, and go deeper. I'm just saying some points and I'm, I'm going to wrap it up. Lunch break lesson. The Lord said, mark them. The Israelites that are scattering the sheep, mark them, scope them, man. Let everybody know who they are. You see? Let everybody know who they are, man. One, one minute, the M-A-R-K, you know what I'm saying? In, in um, Revelation 13 and 16, is sleeping with a white woman. The next week, they said it was an embargo. Then the next week, they said it was um, John 3, 16. The next day, you know, they said it was the mark of Cain. Oh, now they're trying to say Adam had the M-A-R-K. Now they're trying to say Eve had the M-A-R-K. And you, and you Israelites are still following these people? You Israelites are still following these people, man? They got you worshiping God and Christ blessed, you know what I'm saying? And those are Greek terms, but you're still following that too. You you Israelites are bug the hell out. And, and no, we're not getting with none of you other Israelite groups, no. We're not getting with none of you other Israelite groups whatsoever, man. Let's get this, though. Let's get let's get uh, Second Corinthians. Let's just get this. The Lord said, "Mark them right, and look, look, and don't have no fellowship with them, right?" Let's get this. Second Corinthians chapter six. Let's see. Lunch break lesson. The M A R K is the karagma. You see it up there. That C hip. That's what it is. It's a C hip, man. Second Corinthians chapter six. Verse 14, it reads, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You see? So we're not getting with none of these other Israelite groups, these non-believers. And you hopeful elect out there, you shouldn't be getting together with them anyway. You shouldn't even be watching their damn videos. Only thing they're going to do is confuse the hell out of you. Then you're going to come over here to us, man. And what the scriptures say, a good tree can't bring forth corrupt fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And you're gonna know a you're gonna know a tree by its fruit, right? Let's get it again. Quick, quick little lesson. I'm kind of rushing through it because I'm on break. Break about to be over. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship have the righteous righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Yahweh Shah Hamashak with Baal? Or what part? Have he that believeth with an infidel. So, so you got faith in what the scriptures are saying. And then you, you hang with a person that don't got faith in what the scriptures are saying. Y'all don't need to be together. Amos 3 and 3. How can two walk together unless they be agreed, man? And then you got all these groups coming together and don't none of them believe in what each other teaches. You see, let's get this. We're just going to keep rolling. We're just going to keep rolling. The second Thessalonians... 2 Thessalonians um, chapter 3. Mark them which cause division, man. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads, Now we command you, brethren, you see, the brothers, you see, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who you ignorantly call Jesus, that ye withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh disorderly. You see? Because we're supposed to do things decently in order, right? 
Withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh dishonestly, and not out of the tradition which ye received of us, man. You see? Ah, oh, man. For yourselves know ye ought to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. You got you got these guys, they are all over the place with the nonsense, man. You see? They're teaching you that the name of the Lord is important. You see? They're telling you that look, just because it says, you no know saying Jesus Christ, you no know saying in a scripture, what you you don't go to the to the um etymology of that word. You see? These guys don't do no research whatsoever. Look, walk in disorderly. That what, what yeah, the law, the law, the law, the law. It, it says, it says once again, a sinful man cannot be corrected. And these dudes, you no know I'm saying, have exhorted themselves. You see? These dudes has exhorted themselves above measure. Let's go back to Romans, though. Let's go back to Romans. Bear with me. This ain't going to be no long lesson, like I said before. If you can get it, you can get it. If, if not, oh well. Once again, these lessons that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, the hopeful elect, right? Let's get this, Romans. Let's see, Romans, the 11th chapter. Because I'm about to wrap it up. Romans chapter 11, verse 7, it reads, What then Israel, a people before us of place, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, right? Have not obtained that which he seeketh for, which is the truth, but the election have obtained it. So it's all about the elect, man. You see? The best of his class. I think um, the, um I think that was the name of the video, the head apostle. One of the head apostle um Aramla videos. He did uh, earlier the best of his kind, the best of his class, something to that effect. Let's talk about the elect of the nation of Israel. You see? Look, look, but the election have obtained it. And and look, look, and the rest were blinded from getting the, the 100 percent truth according to the Bible, right? According as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. So they're gonna continue in their madness. You see? That, that, that um, it's June and all the other nonsense. But once again, Marvel, you see these stiff neck Israelites, it look, look Marvel. If they don't get punished, it'll, 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 you, you, it's going to be something to marvel at. If the wrath of the Lord don't come upon them, man. And, and I read that earlier this morning. I read that earlier this morning. You see, that's a rock 16 and 11. You can go check that out. Let's see what up before I wrap it up. So only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get it, man. All right? And Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful number, man. These dudes are proud as hell. They, they, they high-minded. You see? Matter of fact, let's, get, let's, let's go back to 2 Corinthians. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians um, 2. Let's just get that right quick. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 11 in the reads, least Satan, the word Satan means adversary, should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, of his tricks, of his schemes, his plots, his sea hip, his karama. We're not ignorant of it. We know exactly what it is. You see? We know exactly what his devices are, man. Once again, his tricks, his schemes, his plots, his wedges, his gadgets. We know what it is because the Lord has revealed his secrets as to his service to prophets. You see? So, 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 so it is what it is, man. The deceived and the deceiver are his, right? Let's get that before I close. Ezekiel 14th chapter. It ain't, it ain't nothing long. Oh, yeah. This, this simple believe if every word, though, right? But a prudent man looketh where to his going, right? Ezekiel 14 and 9 and it reads and if the prophet be deceived when he have spoken a thing I the Lord have deceived that prophet you see so you got prophet saying the M-A-R-K the C-Hip you know what I'm saying it's not the Karagma you see they're saying the M-A-R-K is not the C-Hip right they're saying it's an embargo they say it's the mark of Cain they said it's sleeping with a white woman they say it's John 3 16 that's them deceiving the people but the Lord said I set that deceiver up remember that Israel and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. So, so sooner or later, sooner or later, that false prophet is going to get exactly what they deserve. Okay? And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment that sin upon sin, that wickedness, right? 
The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So you, you, you following that blind leader? Both of y'all going to fall into the ditch. Now, what we read in Revelation 13 and 16 and verse 17, the M-A-R-K, it says C-Hip, all right? It's that karagma. Look, I looked up the meaning of where you saw what it was. It didn't say it was an embargo. It didn't say it was sleeping with a white woman. It didn't say it was John 3.16. It didn't say it was the mark of the cane. It said it was an imprinted mark, something that has to be inserted into you before you can buy and sell. And this is going to be made mandatory, right? Bear with me. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the hour of temptation is going to come when they try to make it mandatory. Well, they ain't going to try to. They're going to make it mandatory that you take that C hip, the M-A-R-K to the B-E-A-S-T. Written up in Revelation 13 and 16 and 17. And you ain't going to be able to buy or sell without it. So you keep listening to those false Israelite groups. The Lord says, look, I have given you the spirit of discernment, man. Plus, plus we're living in sifting. It's sifting season. It's, a, it's always sifting season, man. You see, the Lord is sifting the elect from among the house of Israel, man. The Lord said, you see these other Israelite groups walking disorderly? You withdraw yourself from them. Don't be watching their damn videos or none of that because you're going to get bugged out and here you come running back to us starting off with the head apostles. Tell them something, I'm confused. Can you break something down for me when they didn't broke it down already? They didn't broke it down already, man. But it, it, it is what it is. I'm not even going to beat a dead horse, man. You, you see what's going on. Look, look, we done broke that um, Revelation 13, 16 down. Been doing it for years, starting off with our head apostles. And Elder Bishop, the great millstone, that's who taught us. Hey, if you can't get it by now, look, if I gospel, matter of fact, I got one more. I got one more. And I wrap it up. Got one scripture and I'm gone. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three. But if our gospel be as good news be here, it is here to them that are lost. You see that? You see that? So if you can't get it, you got to take it up with the heavenly Father. Lord, one of the elect that's edified. That C hip, the M A R K written of in Revelation thirteen and sixteen, is that C hip, that karad when that incision, that imprinted mark. A cutting in the flesh. I showed you that according to the scriptures. And it's all plain. Shalom.